Good day YouTube. Today I'll be talking about how to make an immerse system from an existing old fish tank. So what is an immerse setup? An immerse setup is growing your aquatic plants above the waterline in a high humidity setup. This can have many advantages to growing your plants underwater. Not only do your plants have unlimited access to carbon dioxide and oxygen, but they tend to grow a lot more quickly. They are also not affected by algae and water flow problems. But on the downside, they can get affected by mold if there is not enough airflow inside the immerse system. So let's talk about this particular setup. I'm using an old two foot aquarium with a hood. I've covered the top with glad wrap to trap in the moisture. And if you have a look towards the back, left hand corner there, you'll see a water pump that pumps the water around the pots. I always recommend Eheim as I've tried cheaper pumps and they do break down within a matter of weeks. I've included a product link in the description below. I recommend using RO distilled water, which is very low in total dissolved solids. And this helps in preventing any type of algae buildup in your system. To keep the humidity at high levels, I've installed an automatic mister system. I'll talk about the Exoterra Monsoon Mister in a future video. The airflow produced by the mister also prevents mold. In any high humidity system like this, mold can be a big issue and all precautions should be taken to prevent any buildup. To regulate temperature in colder weather, I've submerged a heater and set it to 25 degrees Celsius. For lighting, I'm using LED lights set at 10 hours on and 14 hours off. As you can see, I have grown many different types of plants from seed. And this type of system is more than capable of growing any type of aquatic plant. I like to use clay pots because they're porous. And as always, I use ADA Amazonia as a substrate. Again, whatever I can think of, I will include in the description below. And that is all for today. Thanks for watching my video. And if you found it helpful, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting out more hints and tips on a regular basis. See you next time.